Shalom, everyone, and welcome to Monday, March 18, 2019. Oh, my freaking God. So there's a lot of stuff that's happening. Uh, we're all making plans. We're all, we've all got this like extra energy. Some of us have that. Some of us are still in the ho-hum. Uh, something's not changing, but it is. You need to lift that little or open up the lid to your little black boxes because things are happening astrologically or cosmically. Like I said, I'm not an astrologer, so the information that I get is strictly from uh, angels and what they're able to stick in my thick head, uh, what it is that is happening. Um, one of the things that is happening today, um, and this is, it's, it's really funny because this part I understand. This, about 2.30 this morning, which is, let's say, in the, two, about midnight this, this morning, about midnight today. Not midnight for tomorrow, but go back Sunday, right? At midnight. All right. Um, what happened to Leo? Leo, uh, the moon is in Leo at, you know, so the moon in Leo actually visited, because it does every month, um, to Venus. But Venus is in Aquarium at that precise time, here in the East, Eastern time, okay? Um, it gives Mars in Tara, Taurus, it, it's what they call a square. It squares or it's squaring uh, Mars in Taurus about three in the morning. Um, now, what, that's, what is that going to do? Well, Leo is a harsh, sometimes harsh um, energy. Um, and when it comes to the matters of the heart, both Leo, Venus, Mars, and Taurus, they all come from the heart. So what could probably happen during the course of the day? And this is for a lot of people. This, this is not only, it, it, it depends on the house that these signs are in, in which house in your uh, astrological sign, but you are going to either witness or be part of um, an aggressive matter of the heart. What I'm telling you right now, this is not a good idea. So if you feel that you need to, or you're being led to an aggressive part of your being today, of your day today, if you see that you are you feel that you need to bring on the aggressiveness, don't do it, you do whatever you want. But I really recommend not to do that. Um, instead, switch the energy around. Don't be the enabler of this aggressive behavior because this is only due to the astrological or the cosmic um, influence that is happening around us. And it did start last night. Well, here in the east, on the east coast. So for you guys, um, it was even further, or will be further, or has been further, because based on the squaring, Mars for us is at 5:07 in the morning. Well, no, for us is at 3 a.m. in the morning, and for anybody in Pacific, that would be about five in the morning. So a lot of us are getting up at that time, right? Okay. Um, now, what I want you guys to do instead is to, and I'm recommending it, this is something that if you care to take on, go ahead and do it by all means. Um, if not, find an alternative way to use that energy. How can you use that energy? Well, meditation, uh, education, um, because what you want to do is you want to immerse yourself in what you need to do during this time. 
Um, and this is, it's 8.15 here. And based on this chart, by 8.20, even though it's precise to the second, um, it, by getting this moment to reflect as part of your education and your awakening, it's also going to help you, um, giving you a boost, giving you a push, giving you your action by not taking into, or by not going into aggression, it's actually gonna, it'll be a catalyst. So your action is actually being the catalyst to move you to and getting you into a boosted energy to get where you need to get to today. Um, and this is gonna test you all day long. You're going to find yourself with emotional tension. It's gonna rise up, it's gonna fester. You need to just sit back and relax. And I need you to actually become your awareness be part of your awareness what is it that your mind is wanting you to do what is it that your heart is wanting you to do well then let's take logic and let's listen to our angels and our uh spirit guides to tell us this is really what you should be doing and really what you should be doing is working on you and this is how you this is how you get all these phenomenons and phenomenons and, and you grab them. And while everybody's saying, well, this is really bad, this is not going to be good for you, find the angle of what to do instead. So if you know that you're going to have emotional tension today, if you know that you may be too aggressive or you may want to feel that you need to be aggressive in certain areas of the heart, well, it isn't a good idea because things are just not going to work out the way you actually are envisioning them. As many times as you, you're driving and you're putting the sequence together, it probably will not work. And if, if it does, it's going to be temporary because this is not the time to, to have that awareness in the aggressive nature of matters in your heart. This is where you need to say, I'm gonna sit down, and we've been doing a lot of sitting down, ladies and gentlemen. We have been seeing things going on around us, the angels and the guides, and astrologically speaking, they're telling us, sit down and wait. And this is mostly for spiritualists. Anybody in the spiritual uh, arena, we're being guided. Hey, listen, things are gonna work out, but you need to sit back. Let us take control. There is a huge celestial movement where they're the ones taking care of a lot of things that we usually would take care of, but they're the ones doing it now. We're being asked to sit back down, do what we do best, Reiki, prayer, meditation, teaching. This is where we are being called. Um, for the next 10 to 12 hours, um the moon is going to enter virgo and let me get that chart the yeah there it is so the moon is going to enter virgo it says 642 again astrology but we also have to consider the time reference i'm going to start giving my time here you guys calculate when it's going to be over where you're at so like at 642 645 based on what i see and what i've been feeling and what i'm hearing you're going to feel even the after effects after 7 p.m um we need to organize everything around us including ourselves, including our thoughts, take an inventory, go around the house, go around your work, like tomorrow when you go back into work, today is not the day, but tomorrow when you go back into work, 
take inventory of everything, catalog everything, get everything where it needs to be, nice and tidy. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Angels and guides love cleanliness, and they're able to help even better because they're going to feel even more comfortable. Um, you do need to think about getting rid of the clutter. Anything that you don't need, get rid of it. I've been holding on to this little bag because I love these little bags where, you know, little trinkets come in and all of that. And I've been holding on. It's on my desk for the last two weeks. I, I just love bags. Don't ask me why. Okay, so definitely a move towards organization, not only physically, but spiritually and emotionally. This is where, this is a great for the next two weeks, to the next two days. And I want you to continue it for the next week, for this whole week. Take an inventory of what you no longer need. We're going into spring and we're talking spring cleaning. And what better spring cleaning, not only physically, but emotionally and spiritually. And this is where we need to be at. We need to spring clean what we don't need. Really, what we don't need, no matter what emotions it brings, what memories it brings. Listen, if you don't want to forget about it, write it down in your journal. And then you can read about it. Okay? As somebody reading a book, not somebody living it all over again. All right? So try to do that. And keep Keep your ideas to yourself because you're going to come up with some really, really incredible ideas. Things that you are even sometimes going to say, oh my God, why didn't I think of this before? And I will tell you, this is a great moment because your ideas are mostly going to be centered spiritually. Yeah, based on this, we're looking at, yep, so, okay, so we need to start preparing for the descent of divine illumination. Um, and when is that going to happen? That's going to happen in the next full moon that's happening on a Wednesday. Who knows? Go ahead and answer here in the comments. Who knows what archangel belongs to Wednesday? Go ahead and comment on the bottom and tell me who it is and why it makes it so important for us to prepare for the descent of divine illumination. And I'm going to write um, down because this is a day that perhaps we're going to do some full moon workshops that'll be just completely free for everyone. And let me know if you guys will be um, available for that. So I want you to be conscious of what is happening or what is going to happen on Wednesday during the during the next full moon i want you as of tuesday tomorrow i want you to continue softening your heart continuing to um not becoming too aggressive during these transitions as you know um as venus in aquarius sees leo making its monthly polarity towards it so I want you to try that. I also want you to become efficient with picking up not only physical, but emotionally and spiritually. And then, see, the reason why you're going to get these wonderful ideas is because since there is no more clutter around you and you are not exhibiting the aggressive behavior in your heart and in your mind, you're actually opening up a different, you're vibrating at a different level. Therefore, these beautiful, brilliant, spiritual 
and, and, and physical ideas are just not going to have to fight with the aggressiveness, with the fear, with the, oh my God, with, um, with the clutter in your heart, in your mind, in your soul. So it's easier to get the information that you need to get to. Get, you understand what I mean? So this whole week, well, I can tell you that for today, you, you, you should be doing these things today and tomorrow. Um, I'll tell you, and I'll talk to you guys uh, about tomorrow. Um, tomorrow. But today I'll just give you a, a little bit of, of information. Um, you need to understand what magnification is in the spiritual life. Magnification is so important because when you bring in magnification into your potential success, it's like it opens up. But when it opens up, it puts you on the defensive side and it actually pushes you against a wall and it's not comfortable when you're there, right? It's not comfortable. What you wanna do is you wanna be able to work in the background without the need of any magnification whatsoever. But guess who's holding that magnifying glass? You are. You are the one holding a magnifying glass. There's nobody else around you doing that. So don't, while you are removing yourself from these aggressive uh, moments and you're letting go of everything you don't need to let go by decluttering, don't self-sabotage yourself with getting a magnifying glass and go, because then you are doing exactly that. You are self-sabotaging yourself. There is no need for magnification for everybody in the entire universe already knows your clutter. Everybody knows your nature of aggressiveness in this moment because the astrological signs are, are actually in a position where this is destined to happen. Destiny, yeah. but with astrology, pretty damn accurate and what we're supposed to be doing is circumventing moving around it okay it's a warning sign it's a hello this is what's happening i think you can do a better job show us and i think you can i'm pretty sure you can mm. so i want you to get that information that I'm giving you today, apply it for the whole week. And the reason why I want you to apply it for the whole week is because at some point, you're going to feel that you need, that you have fallen into a little web of traps and intrigue uh, with, with people that, that you really honor and you really feel you know, their, their, their colleagues, you would trust them. Um, it's only because, and again, it is only because the moon, and this is tomorrow, moon makes, a, it's, you know, that the, the, the moon goes, every planet goes in a two polarity into another planet, right? Okay. For tomorrow, the moon makes its monthly polarity to Neptune. What does Neptune bring? What is Neptune? King of chaos. Chaos. That is Neptune. But if we know that ahead of time, like we're seeing, that's why we can go a little farther ahead in astrology, then we are prepared not to let Neptune bring chaos into our relationships. And 
why is it that Neptune and the moon are doing this dance? Because we have chosen to make these changes with our hearts today. And it is now its turn to say, and are you still there tomorrow? So let's show them. Let's work the cosmos the way that it was naturally intended to be used. And it is to be used to the greatest potential for this race and any race, because they're going to see it in another, in another perspective and it's going to mean something else to them. But in our perspective, this is how uh, astrology works for us. And notice I'm saying works for us, not against us. A lot of people say, well, the, the planets are all against us today. No, they're not. How, how could they be against us? No, they're teaching us another way. We just need to listen and we need to follow with our hearts and with our spiritual guidance that they're not there. Astrology is not there to hurt anybody. It's there to tell us, hey, there's another way. You need to find it. And it's there. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Um, today is Monday. And today we are uh, delving a little deeper into astrology as I continue to learn. Um, and I thank the angels, my archangels, oh my God, um, all my, um, my guides, uh, because I think this message today is just totally beautiful and very guiding. And um, I want to bid you a whom as I get ready to go to work. And I will see my spiritual development uh, group on the last Friday. Um, but I will leave um, my Zoom open today so that um, the spiritual development group can uh, reach out and in, in case you have any questions. I will post it in the, in the spiritual development uh, messengers. Mm. So, ahum, and may today bring you peace, serenity, love, acceptance but mostly 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 the assurance that you are loved because you are i will see you guys soon oh yes i forgot we've got new certifications coming see you later <laughs>